Welcome back inside Chase Field, everyone. It's the D-backs and the Phillies, game four of the NLCS. The D-backs, of course, last night coming up with that, just the classic postseason game. It's what, no matter whether you're rooted for the Phillies or the Diamondbacks, it's what you want to see in the postseason because it was just great baseball. Two managers, toe to toe, Tori Lovello pushing the right buttons coming up with a recipe to win the game and get back in this series. I want to bring in Diamondbacks broadcaster Jody Jackson. Jody, so good to see you. And, and last night, I mean, and I don't think I'm saying this because I'm a Diamondbacks fan, but last night was just, I, I said, it, it was one of those games that if you love baseball, if you're a purist, it's the kind of a game that you want to see in the postseason. Well, I think you're right. Purists, they love good pitching. We saw great starting pitching from Ranger Suarez and Brandon Fott. And then, you know, we saw a little bit of craziness there, right, with the wild pitch, and they scored, and then the Diamondbacks answered. And then we saw the drama of the ninth inning. And, you know, you and I were talking off air a little bit ago. You know, you and I were here in 01 during that World Series game. And, yes, this is the NLCS, not the World Series, but the way it was built, that inning going from, you know, Lord S. Gurriel Jr. walking, and then, you know, a ball in play, and then another walk by Perdomo, and it just, the drama was building and building. I, I thought when Gurriel came up, Part of me said, why doesn't he just hit a homer here? It's been stressful. Let's just go. Let's just hit it, hit the home run to lead off the inning against Kimbrell. But no, we wanted that drama, right? We wanted to feel that much like we felt it in 01 with Luis Gonzalez facing Mariana Rivera. Yeah, I don't know in this series if we're going to see one of those games like we saw in 01, but, but maybe we will. Uh, this is certainly a different Diamondbacks team than 01. I was talking to Gonzo yesterday, and it was wall-to-wall -wall veterans. This is a much different clubhouse, and I'm wondering what you think in terms of how far a young team like this can go. Well, the fact that they're here is really impressive to me because, as you know, as many games as I do during the season and traveling with them, you know, look at the rotation, number one. You have Gallon and Kelly, and you feel really good about them. But you started the year with Zach Davies and Madison Bumgarner in the rotation, and both of those were veterans that faltered, and they weren't effective. And then they had to go to rookies, and they went to some young guys early. Tommy Henry got injured. Dre Jamison got injured. The fact that they're in the NLCS, Mark, one of the final four teams in baseball standing here using rookies like Fott, who is now showing what he can do, and other guys that got starts like Ryan Nelson and Slade Ciccone, it's very impressive. So the fact that they're here, how far can they go? I mean, you never know. I mean, tonight's big to even the series, but the fact that they are have won a game now in this series, I mean, I'm not going to start doubting them now, Mark. Why would I, right? Well, well, I mean, sometimes all you need is that shot of confidence, and I am as curious as anyone to see how not only they respond to winning one, but how the Phillies respond to them. Yeah, for sure, because, um, well, what was great to see yesterday is Brandon Fott take away all that mojo. I mean, in Philly, they were just teeing off. They were slamming homers out of the ballpark, and, and you know, Zach Gallen got hit hard. Merrill Kelly kind of hung in there, right? But then that game got out of hand. So Brandon Fott cooled them off, and then we'll see tonight. You're right. And tonight it's a bullpen game. On the other side, they'll use their fourth starter, which is Christopher Sanchez. He, he has good stuff, but... Hasn't pitched in 23 days. That, that's a great stat. Uh, you're right. He hasn't pitched since an inning of relief, September 30th. So all you can hope is that maybe, and guess what? I know everyone talks about the Philly crowd, but let's have this crowd rattle that young man. He's only 26. Yeah. He's a guy that doesn't have a ton of experience. Maybe the D-backs fans here can rattle Sanchez. All right. Jody Jackson, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck to Corona tonight. Her, her son is the quarterback there as they take on Brophy. Much more on that coming up later on tonight on Friday Night Fever.